Welcome back to Print Reading for Concrete. My name is Dan Dorfmiller and I will be your instructor. This is Unit 3, Reading an Architect's and Engineer's Scale and Adding and Subtracting Dimensions. At the end of the unit, there will be a Test Your Knowledge activity to challenge you. Let's review dimension lines and extension lines that were discussed in Unit 1. Dimensions are distances between two points, in and or on a building. The outside edges of the building will typically be the longest, with intermediate dimensions delineating other edges or portions of the building. There are two kinds of scales used in construction. One is an architect scale and the other is an engineer's scale. The architect scale relates everything in scale to a portion of an inch or inches to an actual foot, 12 inches, in real life, such as one quarter inch equals a foot or one inch equals a foot. While an engineer scale uses an inch to relate to the number of actual foot, such as one inch equals 10 foot, this would be a 10 scale, or one inch equals 20 foot, this would be a 20 scale. An architect scale is usually for the building, while the engineer scale is used for the exterior site plans where items need to be shown in smaller scale. Metric scales will not be covered during this training video. Here are some examples of an architect and engineer's scale. Scales are typically in a triangular shape, but can also be found in flat shapes. The two flat shapes shown here are 1 16th inch equals a foot and 1 32nd inch equals a foot. These scales are not on the typical triangular scale, but would be used to show very large building areas in its entirety as reference for larger scale blow-up portions of the building. Many times, one of the hardest concepts for a student to wrap their head around is the relationship between the smallness of an eighth of an inch or a one inch equaling a full foot. In this diagram, we are showing 1 8 inch equals a foot, or 1 quarter inch equals a foot in real life. What we are doing is shrinking the foot down to an eighth of an inch, or a quarter of an inch, so we can show more of the building on the page. Note, as we shrink the scale down, we can show less and less information, uh, information about the foot. On the eighth inch scale, we can only show every other inch mark. So each little tick equals two inches, or as seen on the slightly larger quarter inch mark, each tick mark equals one inch. Here is a scale, one half inch and one inch equals a foot. Notice as we shrink these scales down, much more information about the foot can be shown on the scale. On the half inch scale, we can see now down to a half of an inch. And on the one inch scale, we can see all the way down to one quarter of an inch in scale. Note that the larger the scale, the less we can actually show of the completed building. But on the other hand, the more detail we can show close up. So we are always trading off less building for more detail or more detail for less building. A typical three-sided architect's scale will have 3 seconds equals a foot scale up to 3 inch equals a foot scale. As indicated earlier in the video, the larger the scale, the more information about each foot can be noted. So, I relate it to the smallest tick mark. For instance, on the 3 seconds and the 8 inch scale, each tick mark is equal to 2 inches. As the scales increase, the smallest tick mark decreases, as seen in the 3 sixteenths, quarter, and 3 eighths scales, where the smallest tick mark is now an inch. 
This continues as we get larger scales up to three inch, where there it, the smallest tick mark equals an eighth of an inch. Becoming familiar with these tick marks is very important in learning to read scales. So here we have the 3 seconds scale, and from here to here equals a foot, and the smallest tick mark equals two inches. Here we have the 3 8 inch scale, and the smallest tick mark between zero and a foot is one inch. And the one way to look at this is if this equals 12 inches, how many inches in a foot? 12 inches. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Don't pay any attention to this 4. It has something to do with reading the scale from, from the other side. Here on the uh, 3 quarter inch equals a foot, we can see that the smallest tick mark is a half of an inch. And on 3 inches equals a foot, we can see that the smallest tick mark is 1 eighth of an inch. And one way again to look at this, we see 1, 2, 3 inches. So if from here to here is an inch, this is a half inch, this is a quarter inch, and the smallest tick mark is 1 eighth of an inch. Don't get frustrated. This will become easier with time and practice and your need for using scales. This is a four inch pocket scale. Looking at the one inch scale, we can see that the smallest tick mark is one quarter of an inch. And on the half inch scale, it is one half of an inch. Also note, there are two scales on each side of the scale. One always one half or double the other side. As seen on the one inch and half inch scale, the eighth inch and quarter inch scales. On the quarter inch scale now, what is the smallest tick mark represented? The answer is one inch. On the eighth inch scale, what is the smallest mark represented? The answer is two inches. Again, seeing this represents a foot, you've got six tick marks between it. That is two inches per tick mark. We just identified what the smallest tick marks mean on the reference scale. Now let's learn what the high and the low zero marks mean and which scales they go with. As you can see here, we have a low zero and a high zero. The low zeros always go with all the tick marks, as you can see across here. The high zeros only go with the high tick marks. Or another way to look at it, the low zeros go with the smaller scale and the high zeros go with the larger scales. To expand upon this conversation, Let's look at the eighth inch scale and the quarter inch scale. Notice the eighth inch scale has a low zero mark and the quarter inch scale has a high zero mark. So let me ask you, which scale, which one of the tick marks as we're coming across the quarter inch side would you typically read? Well, it's the high zero marks. So you would read this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 12, and 14 as you come across it. On the eighth inch side, you would read all the tick marks. Now your first one says 14, it's really one, two, three, and you can see a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and so on as you read across the eighth inch scale. This is also a good time to mention, you read the full feet from the zero mark going this direction, zero mark going this direction, or zero mark going this direction, and you read the portion of a foot between the zero mark and these tick marks, the zero mark and these tick marks, as seen, very clearly seen here on the one inch scale. So let's get started reading scales. 
reading the one inch uh, equals a foot scale here, we have two feet going this direction, one, two, and from the zero mark we have one, two, three, four inches going the other direction. Final answer being two foot four. Using the uh, one eighth inch scale equals a foot, we read zero all the way over here to 20 feet, so 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 feet. And from the zero mark, we read 6 inches, final answer being 20 foot, 6 inches. Here's another example using the 1 inch scale. How would this all read out from here to here? We'll start with reading from the zero. Going this direction, we have 1, 2 feet. And starting from the zero, going this direction, we have three, six, seven, eight, and a half inches. Final answer being two foot, eight and a half inches. Let me ask you, what is the smallest tick mark for the one inch scale? Well, if it equals an inch from here to here, we have a half inch, and then we have a quarter inch. The answer is one quarter of an inch. Let's see if you can read the to, this uh, 3 8 inch equals a foot. See if you can read this particular dimension. I'll give you a couple of seconds or you can pause it. The answer is reading from the zero mark 1, 2, 3 feet. So you have 3 foot and from the zero mark on the foot uh, portion is 3, 6, 7, eight inches. On the bottom scale here we're reading the three inch scale so this simply this whole area down through here equals one foot. Pause it or I'll wait a few seconds and see if you can read what the dimension is from the zero mark on over. The answer is five and five eighths. You have one inch, two inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch, from here to here it equals an inch. So the first thing I would do is uh, figure out how many, uh, what's the smallest tick mark, and the smallest tick mark from it between here to here is an inch, is this is a half inch, quarter inch, and have an eighth of an inch. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eighths of an inch. Final answer, 5 and 5 eighths. Something that I learned from carpenters, I asked them, what do they do when they don't have a scale? They replied with a very simple answer. We use a tape measure. That makes a lot of sense. So converting a tape measure to a fractional rule into a scale, I uh, just think of each part of it equal to a foot as, that, as it relates to a particular scale. For instance, one quarter inch equals a foot. That measures one and three eighths would convert to five foot six. Five quarters plus an eighth of an inch, which equals six inches. This takes a little bit of getting your mind around uh, around the scale, but it's exactly the same thing as the scales that you have uh, been working with over the last few portions of the video. Now let's try to measure a line, like you might do on a drawing. First, check a scale check the scale. Here we are using one half inch, one and a half inch equals a foot. Next note whether we're using high or low zero marks and here we are using the low zero marks. What does that mean? It means we can use all the tick marks as we come across the scale. Next, lay the scale down on the line. Line up the scale so that going this direction you line up on an even uh, foot mark or a full foot mark. Going this direction the line falls in between the zero and the end of a portion of a foot. Now read it. From here to here is one foot, two foot, and from the zero mark we have three, six, nine, and ten 
inches. Final answer being 2 foot 10 inches. Now let's measure one more line. What do you do first? You determine the scale. The scale here is 1 half inch equals a foot. Next, line up the proper scale on the, uh, along the line with the full feet mark going this direction and the portion of a foot going over in this direction. Then read off the feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight feet going this direction. And we have, here let me blow this up a little bit so you can see it more clearly. We have five and a half inches. This is a zero mark. And we have one, two, three, four, five. And if this represents an inch from here to here, that's a half of an inch. Final answer being eight foot five and a half inches for this line. Okay, let's have a little bit of fun. Using the three quarter inch equals a foot scale, measure this line. So in this example, we are measuring a line using a three quarter inch, which is the high zero marks. And uh, have we lined it up on the correct mark? No, we did not. We're using the high zeros. And so if you come across here, we have it lined up on a low zero tick mark. So when we move it over to the, the proper high tick mark, we read the line across here. We read full feet in this direction, which is six foot. And in this direction, we read 11 and a half inches. Okay, now let's take a look at the engineer scale. And in my opinion, a bit easier to understand. Remember, what we're dealing with here is one each inch equals 10 foot, 20 foot, 30 foot, 40 foot, 50 foot, or 60 foot. And with the 10 scale equaling 10 foot, but it can also equal 100, 1,000, or even 10,000 feet by simply just adding zeros. To help understand, let's mark off an inch on scale. As we can see here, we have one inch and it equals 10 feet. Here we have uh, the 20 scale, and we mark off one inch, and we have 20 feet. And on the one inch equals 50 foot, we can see 50 foot reading 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 feet. Also note, the numbers are in single digits. We have 20, add a zero, we have 20 foot, you have to interpolate for 30. On the 40, add a zero, we have 40 foot, and so on. Add a zero, 60 foot, 80 foot, 100 foot, 120 foot, 140 foot, 160 foot. Using one inch equals 40 foot, measure this line. So the first thing you need to do, find the 40 inch scale. Second thing you need to do, simply line up one line on the zero, and fall over to uh, wherever the, the line ends up on the other side. Now read it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 100, 140, 160. And we're about four ticks past the 60. Makes it uh, 160 plus 4, 164 feet. Again, note 16 here equals 160. So let's do one more example. Using one inch equals 20 foot, measure this line. First, find the 20 inch scale, set it down on the line, mark it up by making sure you line up with the zero mark, then simply read off the numbers, 10, 20, 30, 80, 90, and you're one tick past the 90, so 90 plus 1 equals 91 feet. Engineer scales are really easy. 
Remember, add the zero to each number and then read the tick mark between the numbers. Finding missing dimensions or dimensions that you need and were not provided by the construction documents. It is a must when you're learning to read prints. A simple version of this is finding an overall dimension, then subtracting the intermediate dimensions as seen in this string here. So, ask yourself, what do we know? We know the 24 foot 3 inches is the overall, and if you add 5 foot 6 and 3 foot 1, you'll have 8 foot 7 inches. Next, subtract 8 foot 7 from 24 foot 3 inches. But that's not so obvious. First, you must subtract a foot from the 24 and add 12 inches to the 3 to equal 23 foot 15 inches. Now, do the subtraction. Final missing dimension is 15 foot 8 inches. The challenge is always to keep straight the starting and the end points and make sure you add and subtract ac accurately. A fun exercise is coming up real soon. Test your knowledge. Go to the student handbook and open the five pages at the end of unit three. Question number one. Identify the following portions of a foot 12 inches as indicated by the scale shown from the zero mark. Very important from the zero mark. We're reading from the zero over this direction or the zero over to this direction. Question number two. Identify the following dimensions shown on the scales. Question number three. Measure the lines using the scale indicated. Work from the left to the right. Question number four. Mark off the following lines using the scale indicated. Again, working from the left to the right. Question number five. Measuring the following lines using the scales indicated. Question number six. Mark off the following lines using the scale indicated. Remember that fun exercise that I promised you? Here it is. We're going to find the missing dimensions. This is a real life situation where you need to find the dimensions that have not been provided. I know, this would probably never happen on your job. So, wherever you see these exploded stars, find the missing dimensions. Pause the video here and take time to do the previous questions. Okay, let's review the answers. Question number one. Uh, mark off four inches between zero and the four inch mark. And that would be the second tick mark over. B, mark off nine inches. It looks like we forgot the arrow, but that would be three, six, nine inches right here in the tall mark. C, mark off seven inches from the zero mark. We've got three, six, seven inches. One tick mark past the six. D, four and a half inches from the zero mark, which is over here. We have three, four and a half inch. E, six and a half inches, three, six and a half inch. Uh, well, on D here, we have uh, 10 and three quarter from the zero mark on this side. Three, six, nine, 10 and three quarters of an inch. G, one half an inch from the zero mark is the first tick mark over. Question number two, measure this line. From the zero mark, we've got 15 feet over here. You have to interpolate between the 14 and the 16 to get 15. And from the zero mark, we've got three, six, and nine inches. B, two foot 11, one, two going this direction and from the zero mark portion of a foot 
we've got 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, and a quarter of an inch. And for C, we've got 4 feet, 1, 2, 3, 4. And from the zero mark, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 inches. Question number three. Measure the following lines using the scale indicated. We have a quarter inch scale, 16 foot 3 inches. 3 eighths inch scale, 15 foot 4 inches. 1 and a half inch scale equals a foot. 2 foot 3 inches and 1 inch equals a foot. Uh, we've got 10 foot 5 inches. Question number four. Mark off the following lines using the scale indicated. The scale indicated is a quarter inch. We're supposed to mark off 15 foot 9, and it should mark off right about here. Use uh, scale indicated again, 8th inch scale for 15 foot 9. will be about half that distance. And using the half inch scale, mark off 7, 9. should be right about here. Question number 5. Using the scale indicated, measure the following lines. The scale is 1 inch equals 20 foot, 81 foot. 1 inch equals 50 foot, 287 feet, 1 inch equals 10 foot, 34 feet, and 1 inch equals 40 feet, 333 feet. Question number 6. Mark off the following lines using the scale indicated. Scale indicated is 1 inch equals 20 foot. Mark off 122 feet, and the mark should be right about here. Using the 30 scale, mark off 209 feet. The mark should be right about here. Using the 60 scale, mark off 441 feet. The mark should be right about here. Let me mention that the papers that you print out could look a little bit different than this. Uh, just do the best you can to interpolate. Okay, let's uh, go over this fun project here. Uh, the first uh, answer is 15 foot 0 inches, 12 foot 10, 2 foot 2, 2 foot 10, 14 foot 10, 3 foot 11, uh, 8 foot 2, 10 foot 6, and 4 foot 0, and 2 foot 7. And the one that most people have a difficulty with is finding this 1 foot 8. We'll take a moment here and go over that. First ask yourself, what is it that you know? From the center of this door to this outside edge, is 12 foot 8 inches. Next, ask yourself, what can I subtract from it? Well, we know uh, if we have a 3 foot door, half that dimension is 1 foot 6. We can subtract the 9 foot 2 and the thickness of this wall. So we know the total dimension is 12 foot 8. And if we add the 9, 2, the 1, 6, and the 4 inches, we get 10 foot 12 inches. 10 foot 12 inches is the same as 11 foot. Subtract it from the 12 foot 8 that we already know, and the final answer is 1 foot 8 inches. You have now completed Unit 3, Understanding an Architect's and Engineer's Scale. Please move on to Unit 4, where we will learn about specifications.